Welcome to another episode of Getting Salty with Selsic. And today's topic, Econoderms. Phylum Econodermata basically means spiny, bumpy, or warty skinned. And these organisms fall into five major groups. The brittle stars, the sea stars, the sea urchins, the crinoids, and the sea cucumbers. Take a look at this sea star right here. One characteristic they all have in common are tube feet. You can see those little tube feet there on the underside of the sea star. And they all also have spines and most have some sort of radial symmetry, many pentamerous symmetry. I found this sea star while visiting Sanibel Island. And I thought to myself, what happens when they flip over? How do they turn back over? So naturally I had to find out. So I turned this one over in the shallow water and filmed it as it flipped itself back over. That is just so cool. So now I'm gonna speed it up a little bit with a little video editing and watch what happens. Another group of encounterdoms are the sea urchins. Here you see a sand dollar, a type of flat sea urchin. What I'm holding there is dead. You don't see any spines. It's kind of grayish. It hasn't bleached out yet, but this is a dead sea urchin. And this is the test, the internal calcium carbonate skeleton. Here it is again, and to its right is a live one. And if you look real close, you can see the spines that are covering the the dorsal side of its body, and you can see them moving kind of in unison. Uh, here's the bottom side there, and in the center there's the mouth, and you can see the mouth really clearly on the uh, test or the dead one there. But you can see the spines moving. Now, I want to put them in the water here and speed up the film a little bit so we can actually watch uh, them moving through the sand. And they're basically feeding on algae and bacteria uh, in the sand. So check this out. It's pretty cool. Well, that's it for this episode of Getting Salty with Selsic. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned for more episodes, and uh, thanks for watching.